Let's talk about the force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field. So let us consider a conductor PQ of length L and area of cross section A. The conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field of induction B making an angle theta with the field. A current I flows along PQ. Hence the electrons are drifted along QP with the drift velocity Vd. If n is the number of free electrons per unit volume in the conductor, the current I is equal to n, the number of free electrons with the area A and drift velocity Vd. So we will be getting for the electron the total current past I is equal to I into n into A into Vd into electron. Multiplying both sides by the length L, we will be getting I into L is equal to N into A into Vd El. Then the, therefore the current element Il with char is equal to minus into N A Vd, this is a drift velocity direction into E into L. The negative sign in the equation indicates that the direction of current is opposite to the direction of the drift velocity. You are able to see the direction of current is in this direction, the drift velocity is in this direction. That's why it's indicated using a negative symbol minus. Now the electrons move under the influence of a magnetic field. The magnetic Lorentz force F vector is equal to minus into E V D vector into B vector. The negative sign indicates that the charge of the electron is negative. The number of free electrons in the conductor is equal to N is equal to N into A into L. The magnetic forens, the magnetic force or magnetic Lorentz force and all the moving free electrons F vector is equal to N into F vector. So F vector is equal to minus E into Vd vector cross B vector where N is equal to N into A into L. Substituting these values in this equation, you will be getting F vector is equal to N into A into L into minus E into Vd vector into B vector. So F vector is equal to minus N into A into L into E into Vd vector into B vector. So this is equation 1 which you receive and this is equation 4. Substituting the equation 1 in equation 4 you will be getting the final equation as F vector is equal to I into L vector into B vector. This is the total force on all the moving free electron in the force on the carry current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field. But A is the area of cross section and L is the length, VD is the drift velocity, F is the magnetic Lorentz force, N is the number of electrons, I is the current and B is the magnetic induction. If we talk about the magnitude of the force is F vector is equal to B into I divided by sin theta. If the conductor is placed along the direction of the magnetic field, theta will become zero which indicates um, the force F is equal to zero. Let's talk about the magnitude of force. 
The magnitude of the force is indicated by force is equal to B I L sin T char. If the conductor is placed along the direction of the magnetic field, the theta will become zero, which indicates the force is equal to zero. Whereas if the conductor is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field, the theta will become 90 degree. So sin theta sin 90 degree is equal to 1, F equal to B I L. Therefore, the conductor will experience a maximum force. If we talk about the direction of the force, the direction of the force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field is given by Fleming's left hand rule. The forefinger which is indicating the magnetic field and these three fingers are perpendicular to each other. It indicates the four finger points in the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger points in the direction of the current and the thumb points in the direction of the force. That's your Fleming's left hand rule.